Are you struggling to create 3D depth maps for your laser engraving, your STL file creation, or your CNC engraving? Well, I was, and it was really doing my head in. Today, I'm going to share with you something I've learned, some cool techniques to get highly detailed depth maps, and even better, it's all for free. Now, what we've got to do now is make the depth map. Now, this is where you can go online, you can find lots of different depth map um, AI tools, but the one that I use is Zoe Depth, but I don't just use the normal Zoe Depth that you find. I've used one that's been edited, and it's actually called, I think it's Tiled, Tiled Zoe Depth. Hi, me from the future. I should also add at this point, we're not just using this Zoe Tile Depth. We're also going to do something a little bit secret. Once we've got our depth map from the Zoe Tile Depth, we're going to do something pretty cool. So stay tuned to see what that is. And what you actually do, you take your image, as you can see here, this one here that we've gone with, you take your JPEG, it has to be in JPEG format, and then you put it into Zoe Depth, depth Zoe Depth Map Creation, Tiled or whatever it's called, I'll show you in a second. And it does the work, and basically, you just get a lot better result than just using the standard Zoe Depth. So let's dive straight in. Right, so this is basically the, the standard Zoe Depth model, as you can see here. And you get the input, and then you get the output pretty simple but what the one I actually use has been modified someone's come along and modified and what we've actually got we're using tiling Zoe depth and it's made by a chap called Bill F Smith and the version that we're going to actually use for this one is version 3 so I'm going to click on that there and that opens there we go this this is what we need tiled Zoe depth v3 now what I'll actually do I'll put a link to this actually in the description below and you can actually use the same one that I use. I'm also in the actual process, I've, I've got my own which I've edited as well, which is slightly different to this. It just, it's a bit quicker because it doesn't have to keep loading certain certain things up in, in memory. But anyway, what we do now, let's get rid of the code. You don't need the code. Now this is all done, sorry, I forgot to say, this is all on a Google Colab. You need a Google account to actually be able to access it. And basically all what this means is, we're going to actually be using Google's computers. We're going to be using their NVIDIA chips. We're going to use their power to process the image because it is very, very um, processor heavy. So we will use Google stuff. All we need to do to get it started, we just click this little button down there, the little pl play button, and we're off and running. Run anyway. This notebook was made by William Smith. And you go, yep, yeah, run. And now what it's going to do, it's going to set it all up. And then it's going to ask us where our image is, what we want to convert into a depth map. And what this one does, I mean the clues in the name, it's tiled. What it does, it breaks the image up into little tiles. And it does it little tile by little tile, little bit, bit, bit by bit, so you can get a lot better resolution, so you get a lot better outcome. So let's just choose the file. There we go. So we've put the melting skull JPEG in. And now all it'll do, It'll just, you sit back, go and grab a coffee, and it'll be five or six minutes, and it'll do its process. It just goes through all this stuff, all this code. As you'll see here, downloading NVIDIA, blah, blah, blah. And you just sit back and let you do, do its thing. So as you can see, here we go. It's just processing. That's the low resolution one, as you can see there. And look at that, I mean, it's pretty good to be fair compared to some that you see and then here's the high resolution and it's got even more detail but we're not done yet as more as more secrets to come but that one the bottom one there that would work perfectly fine you would get that would then gener generate a 3d image okay an stl file but the process i'm going to show you now is a bit that i've worked hard on for weeks and weeks and weeks with a couple of a computer geek friends of mine to actually get the process to where we want to do it because we want more detail if you remember the original image which i'll pop up now it had a lot more detail all in all around the skull and everywhere and now i'm going to show you how you put that detail into the depth map so basically all we do is if you could come up over here as you see it's downloaded there and that's what we've got that's what it downloaded as so now we're going to put more detail into that and i'm going to show you how we do that now right so here we go here's the um depth map as you saw and here's the original image and as you can see we, we haven't got a lot of detail have we we're missing lines we don't know what these are his teeth aren't very good bottom of his jaw and the background we need to put more of this detail back into the depth map now this is what was causing me problems 
for many weeks. I couldn't work out how to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it now. And all it is, it's a bit of image manipulation and it's just really quick, really simple. Once you know the process, that's all it is. Walk you through the process. Now to do this, I use a program called GIMP. And again, it's another free way of doing it. You could do it in other versions, Adobe or other paid software, but I just use GIMP free and easy to download. So let's get the image into, into GIMP and I'll show you how we do it. So basically, this is GIMP. And what we're going to do now, we're going to load the images in. Now, the first, you've got to do it in a certain order because basically I want to change. I want to change this into basically a grayscale, the same kind of colors that's on the depth map. And as an easy, really simple and easy way of doing that with GIMP. So all you do is you pull in first the depth map that we just created, just drag that in. And as you see, that'll just drop in. And there you go, there you have it. Now, all we do now, we've dragged the original image on top and it'll it will change all the colors for us. So we just drop it on top. And there we go, that's what we need. Now look at that, look how cool that is. But obviously we're still not there because that's not, not a depth map, is it? If, if I turn that image off now, that's the depth map. And that's the image. Now what we need to do is basically combine both, both of these together. So to, to be able to do that, we need to do some manipulation to this image. Now the first thing you need to do is put a high pass filter on it. Now this will basically make it all, all more, even more grayscale. So what we do, you come up to here, filters enhance high pass okay now as you can see that's just basically left us with the line details what we want and now we've just got to do one more thing to, to make to make the depth map come through underneath and now what we've got to do now is change some colors so you come to colors and you go color to alpha and then that'll move all the all that one tone of gray and give us give us all the line detail on top of the depth map and there you have it that's the depth map now now look at that how much better is that so we started if i just quickly load it up if i can just open it up so we've gone from that let's move it over a bit we've gone from that to that now that's what we want that's what that's what you want to be creating your stl files out of so all you do now you just save that out we just go file overwrite depth school multi-school depth and we have our depth map. So there you go, there he is. So there you have it. That's how I do my highly detailed 3D depth maps. Now you can obviously now use those to do whatever you wanna do, your lasering or your CNC or making an STL file to make a 3D print. So if you have found this useful, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Oh, and also there's another cool tutorial video coming up here. Cheers.